unaendelea kutizama taarifa hii ya habari na hii ni UBC TV. Shirika la Mempro limefanya hamasa wilayani Nebi ambapo pia mbunge wa kike wa wilaya hiyo Agnes Asibu aliongoza katika hamasa hiyo inayolenga kuinua elimu kwa mtoto wa kike wilayani Nebi. Haya yamejiri baada ya kuongezeka kwa mimba za utotoni katika wilaya hiyo. Kuongezeka kwa mimba za utotoni wilayani Nebi kwa asilimia 28 kumepelekea shirika la Mempro Uganda kuongeza juhudi katika hamasa juu ya elimu kwa mtoto wa kike. Shirika la Mempro Uganda linajikita katika masuala ya elimu kwa mtoto wa kike. So we thought that it's very important that we mobilize our stakeholders, we mobilize the children, we mobilize the parents, the leaders together to do this advocacy work so that we encourage many parents to return their children to school as one of the ways that will help our nation develop. Let's do away with all these social cultural norms that inhibit girls right to education and let's create a platform for them to be in school, for them to enjoy the right of education and for them to be better people for themselves but also for the nation. Mbunge wa kike wa wilaya hiyo Agnes Asibu anasema visa vingi vya ulawiti ambavyo haviripotiwi. Kuna visa vingi vya ulawiti ambavyo haviripotiwi. Badala yake wazazi wa wasichana hao huamua kutatua kesi hizi nje ya mahakama ambapo pia wa thiriwa wanahitaji usaidizi wa kisaikolojia anybody who is handling such cases and yet the law does not allow them to handle should be dealt with as simple as that and sometimes we find even the parents compromising so that they handle it locally the only thing we are to collect such categories and we dump them so that it serves a lesson to every parent or any law authority who is trying to handle such cases Kulingana na afisa wa maendeleo ya jamii wilayani Nebi, Okiria Joseph Peter, uzembe wa wazazi, ukatili wa kingono, imani za kitamaduni ni miongoni mwa vichochezi vya vitendo vya ubakaji na ulawiti kwa wasichana wadogo. So it means to still a high percentage Wilaya ya Nebi iliongoza kwa mimba za mapema mwaka 2021 ambapo zaidi ya wasichana wadogo 1000 waliripotiwa kubebeshwa ujauzito Before even the advent of corona we still had high and high numbers before the advent of corona we have in 26% When corona came in we was been 8% but it simply augmented the space So it means to still a high percentage Afisa wa afya wa wilaya ya Nebi aliyepo kwa muda Dr. Justin Okwairoth anaarifu kuwa ni wasichana wajawazito 750 tu walioenda kufanyiwa uchunguzi wa afya ambapo asilimia 17 ya wasichana hao walijifungua kwa upasuaji. Cesarean section one of the indication is obstructed labor which is more common in young girls because the pelvis is inadequate and the babies cannot pass through the labor get complicated and the mothers have to be operated Shirika la Mempro Uganda linatoa wito wa juhudi za pamoja kutoka kwa wadau katika kuhamasisha elimu kwa mtoto wa kike na kupunguza mimba za mapema